Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformedTrades.com. Received a question from Swizer135 on what's the difference between the fast stochastic, the slow stochastic, and the full stochastic. Um, I'm not going to go into the formulas for each of these. If you're interested in that, I've included a link to the formulas in the description section of this video if you're watching this on YouTube or one of the other video sites, uh, and right below this video if you're watching it on InformedTrades.com. But in general terms, what the difference is between the fast, slow, and full stochastic is, in the fast stochastic, the percent K line um, is not smooth. So um, there's no moving average. It's not used as a moving average or plotted as a moving average. Um, in the slow stochastic, the percent K line is smooth using a three-period moving average of the raw, so to speak, percent K line, which is used in the fast stochastic. Okay, so the percent K line in the slow stochastic is a three period moving average of the, of the percent K line used in the fast stochastic. So what this means is, uh, in simple terms, the percent K line in the fast stochastic is going to move around a lot more than it is in the, in the slow stochastic. And that's why it's called the fast stochastic and the slow stochastic. Um, so if you want more action, um, and, and uh, if you want to get into trades earlier, then the advantage goes to the fast stochastic because it is going to give earlier signals than the slow stochastic since the slow stochastic is slowed down by taking a three period moving average of that percent K line. Now, that's an advantage because you trade more and get into trades earlier if, if that's what you're looking to do, um, but it's also a disadvantage because um, you're going to get whipsaw a lot more, you're going to get taken into a lot more false trades, and that's why the, the slow stochastic was developed. The difference with the full stochastic is that um, in addition to being able to change the number of periods which smooth the percent D line um, like you can in the fast and slow stochastic, you can all, and the number of periods which you look back on the data, normally 14 uh, is used for the number of periods and uh, 3 for the smoothing of the uh, percent K line which makes the percent D line like you like you use in the fast and full you can also choose a simple moving average period for the percent K line in the full stochastic so you can slow down or speed up the percent K line um, in addition so uh, that's the difference with the full stochastic so I hope that answers your question if you have any more questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and have a great day